Hello, and welcome to my StarCraft II testbed. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys uh, what I am doing in StarCraft II. So first off, the map that I'm planning on creating is going to be something like uh, Starship, the Starship Troopers maps in StarCraft I. You know, basically where you're playing as a Marine and you have to fend off against tons and tons of Zerg trying to take down your base. Uh, but I'm going to add more to it. Uh, I'm going to allow you to be able to use items, pick up items, as you can see right over here. Uh, I just picked up a health kit. Uh, you can also minimize this and uh, pop up another one called inventory and this inventory can just hold on to the miscellaneous stuff you want in there otherwise you can put over here and use it uh, also uh, I got a speed charm right here which will uh, increase your speed by 100% this Thor right here is a weapon actually uh, even though the model has a weapon you don't have a weapon Sure. So now we actually do have a weapon. This weapon will be shooting uh, grenades. Uh, you can probably guess that I will have multiple weapons and each weapon will be shooting different things in order to differentiate your character and also to be more useful towards specific uh, enemies when they come up. Uh, this marine is a drop pod as you can see. And if I pick up this drop pod I'll be able to drop in marines. They won't be heroes, they'll just be plain ordinary marines. Uh, as you can tell also, this marine is big. He's two times bigger than it, than the, these other two marines. Uh, I plan to also make all the enemies and stuff uh, the size of this marine, or maybe a little bit smaller. I made him bigger since you are playing as this marine, so I want him to be uh, noticeable on the screen. Uh, right here is a pawn shop this better be good. and you'll be able to buy and sell stuff here Armed and, ready. and to show that I will actually sell my speed charm Got it. by right clicking on it and then you clicking it. as you can see I now have 150 uh, resources and now I will buy back my speed charm by the as you can see I have it back and I have the uh, ability back too. Orders received. So uh, also you'll notice that I have uh, a little thing down here if I click on it allows me to learn abilities. Uh, currently I only have one ability and he can't learn it right now because he's not level one he's level zero. Uh, I have stats if you notice right here and each stat will raise according to your level uh, this is obviously you won't gain uh, all your stats you, every stat will not increase per level but currently they do just for testing purposes That's fine. so uh, let's kill some stuff so I can gain a level okay I'm level one and now I can increase my stim pack Roger that. let's use that stim pack just to see what it does obviously it just does the same exact thing as the marine it just doesn't last as long You'll notice, uh, see the grenades in action. I plan to uh, possibly make those splash damage, or make some weapon that has splash damage for the marine, so it's really useful against like uh, smaller units like uh, zerglings. Level 3 now, I can uh, increase my ability again. Uh, this ability, you can only increase every odd level, and I've only got 3 levels of it, so at level 5 you would gain it to full. Uh, it would just last longer, it doesn't speed him up any faster, it just lasts longer. So that's the end of what I have to show you. Not much currently, but I hope to have more in the future. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the SC2 Mapster website. They have a lot of tut helpful tutorials and the people on the forums are helpful as well. Uh, specifically, I'd like to thank uh, Bufu for his uh, written tutorials and uh, videos, uh, tutorial videos on the SC2 map editor they has on uh, SC2 Mapster website and on YouTube. I suggest you check those out if you plan on working with the SC2 editor.
they are very helpful. So this is the end of this video, and I thank you for watching.